Every September 7, the Catholic Church honors the memory of St. Claudoald, popularly known as St. Cloud, who escaped from violent political intrigue to pursue holiness as a monk and priest. Born in 522, Claudoald was the grandson of the Frankish King Clovis I, whose conversion to Orthodox Christianity, rather than the Arian heresy, made him the first Catholic ruler of present-day France. After Claudoald's father Clodomir was killed in 524, he and his brothers Theodofold and Gunther were raised by their grandmother Queen Clothild, whom the church now honors as Saint Clothild. Clovis' kingdom had been divided equally among his four sons following his death in 511. In an effort to secure Clodomir's share of the territory after his death, two of Claudoald's uncles plotted to kill the three boys who were under the protection of the queen. While the uncles managed to kill Gunther and Theodovald, Claudoald fled and was taken in by the archbishop, St. Remigius of Reims. Forced into seclusion by the plot against him, Claudoald renounced the power and wealth that had brought grief to his family, and he decided to give his inheritance to the poor. Placing himself in God's service, Claudoald lived in a small monastic cell where he pursued a life of asceticism and contemplative prayer. No longer pursued by his uncles, Claudoald appeared before the Bishop of Paris in the year 542. He formally received the monastic habit from the bishop, who cut off the long hair that had signified his Frankish royal origins. Claudoald eventually left Paris to live as a hermit in the forest for several years, growing closer to God in his contemplative vocation and studying sacred scripture extensively. He eventually became a disciple of the hermit Saint Severinus, who lived near Paris. During these years, pilgrims began making their way to the hermitage, seeking his prayers which were known to work miracles. Though he had left Paris to live in anonymity and solitude, the hermit now sensed a need to return to the city, where he was ordained a priest in the year 551. His two murderous uncles are said to have repented of their deeds during the time of his ministry. In 554, Claudoald returned to the monastic life, founding and leading a community of monks in the village of Nogent near Paris. There, he was known for his generosity toward the poor, and his attention to the work of religious instruction among the people. According to legend, Claudoald predicted his death in advance followed by several miracles which occurred near his tomb. He died on September 7, 560, at the age of 38. Claudoald was then canonized and the hamlet quickly transformed into a place of pilgrimage, where huge crowds flocked. Under the name of Saint Cloud, Claudoald became the namesake of several cities and towns. The village of Nogent was changed to Sanctus Claudoaldus, popularly called Saint Cloud, in his honor. The abbey is now a collegiate church of canons regularly called Egli Saint Claudoald, wherein his relics are kept. Saint Cloud Wisconsin, Saint Cloud Florida, and Saint Cloud Minnesota, whose Catholic diocese has been placed under his patronage, were also named after him. For more information about every saints and their feast day, please like and subscribe to our channel, House of Prayers for Everyone.